Hey friends, it's Aki Dearest. So there's a lot of you that are on summer vacation. Well, I'm not. I'm sorry. And the fact that Anime Expo is literally right around the corner. And there's quite a few big conventions happening around this time of year. I've decided to make a video of some advice that will hopefully be helpful to you in your first time going to a con. Coming from someone that has attended conventions for nearly 10 years, this is what Mama Aki has come up with. This is pretty self-explanatory by going on any trip. Obviously, bring your luggage with clothes, some bathroom items, your camera, charger, laptop, now, the reason I'm putting this in here is, as a cosplayer, we tend to make this ten times more difficult than we need to. Sometimes, cosplayers just put their cosplay as the main priority over the basic necessities. So again, we bring things like clothes, a toothbrush, bathroom items, a camera, a charger, oh. Well, at least you got the laptop down. Everything that should be more important that should be going into the suitcase tend to just be crammed and shoved into a backpack. Seriously, it looks like that we're bringing half our studio with us to a convention in our luggage. And as cosplayers, it's important to be careful. Because make sure that your stuff isn't too questionable when it goes through the security when you're going to an airport. Alright, next in line. If you could just put your bag down for me for a second. Let's see. Oh, where are you going? Uh, yeah, I'm going to like a kind of event sort of thing. You got a quite a lot of costumes in here. Oh, um, I, I, I role play basically. It's hard to explain. Okay. Like with a boyfriend, or a husband, or... Uh, it's not that kind of roleplay. I'm going to like this event, you get to like, see people and stuff. It's fine. We, we all have our own fetishes, I do that too. It, it's not... Really. It, that, that's not what you think it's for. It's okay. I'm, I'm telling the truth. Alright, so everything looks good, I hope you enjoy your trip, alright? <sighs> God. What? I hope his c isn't too big for you. I'm not doing that! Ah, oh, young people. Alright, next person. Whether you pre-registered your badge or you're buying it at the door, even though it's your first time, bask in the environment that you're around people that are just like you. Don't be afraid to go up and take some pictures of cosplayers. Seriously, most cosplayers are really flattered whenever you want to take their picture. We didn't go through months of hardships, or in my case, just really skilled procrastination. To not get noticed even a little bit at a convention? Don't worry, it's totally fine. It's not like they're gonna fucking spill water on you if you ask them. If it's your first time being in a cosplay, sometimes you may feel a little shy or intimidated by other skilled cosplayers. But don't worry, because in one weekend of a convention, there's literally thousands of people that are experiencing the same thing you are. It's all just for fun. My first cosplay was Ash Ketchum, and I would draw the hat with freaking markers, alright? And then I cut a t-shirt in half, and I still think it looks cool. Just let go and have fun, make the experience memorable. Luckily, I knew hands down my first time going at a con that I was with my people. And I did not give two shits of how my cosplay may have looked to others. But be warned of what I call the cosplay bomb. Hucky, what's the cosplay bomb? Think of those Final Fantasy Doom counters that are above your head that show up. Well, it starts ticking as soon as you leave your house or your hotel room. And throughout the day, your cosplay will slowly start breaking apart and disintegrating into nothing. This. Even just by standing still, something's gonna happen. I really try to compose myself when those things happen.
that's embarrassing. Sometimes conventions may have a repair station, but I mean, a lot of the times you're gonna be from point A and you're trying to get yourself to point B. So please have a cosplay first aid kit with you. A hot glue gun, safety pins, tape, whatever it takes. You will get through this. Believe in the me that believes in you. Is that how that quote goes? Ah, I've been waiting to get to this one. So every convention will have what is called the dealer hall or the exhibit hall. This is the place where all your money will be thrown out the window on art books, figures, pins, t-shirts, artwork, definitely artwork. Maybe leather armor, but I never have enough money for those. Did I mention artwork? But boys and girls, please be wise with your money. First time I ever went to Anime Expo when I was a wee lad, spent $45 on a Miku t-shirt because the guy at the booth happened to convince me with just the most simplest words in the entire world. Selling out fast, very limited. They're really limited, he said. Everything there is limited. Your time being there is limited. Life is limited. And that logic tells me that someone could have easily just convinced me to stick my face in cement simply because it was wet for a limited time. I should have thought for myself, but no! Booth retailers have the secret power for first-time con-goers. Did you know that? They can possess you like Lelouch and make you buy almost everything at whatever price. And once that card swipes through the card reader of their phone, they let go of your soul, you're no longer possessed, you have your sanity back, and you walk away thinking, did I literally just do that? You'll turn around and you'll see the sign written on Sharpie on a piece of paper that says no refunds. And you'll think to yourself, was that there before or did they just put that there as soon as I turned around? Nah, of course not. Damn, I'm stupid. And also look around the dealer hall completely before you even buy anything. Because what booths tend to do is that they tend to sell the exact same product for a completely different price. So those are just some helpful tips for surviving your first convention. I appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more anime and otaku related content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!